Histamines aren't nitrogenous compounds that do anything from act as a neurotransmitter to regulate gut health to help immune system function. And there's two main types of histamines. One are the histamines that occur in aged foods and the histamines that build up in those foods. Those are foods that have high histamine content. And then there are foods that cause high levels of histamine reactions. Uh, the foods that have high amounts of histamines are like uh, aged meat, dry aged meat, cured meats, anything fermented, uh, and, and just even pretty much most supermarket meat is very high in histamines because it's weeks old before it gets on the shelf. And foods that cause high histamine reactions are like milk, uh, especially really any type of dairy. Uh, eggs are very high in histamine reactions, especially egg whites, chocolate. Uh, some foods cause very high levels of histamine reactions in people. So this first started about three months ago when I drank about half a gallon of raw cow's milk over the course of two days and I had the worst insomnia ever. I could not sleep for f about five days and then it eventually went away. And then that next week after I slept for about three nights, I had some, I thought, hey, maybe the butter and the cream are okay. Maybe I had, uh, I don't know, maybe I drank too much. I thought it was a vitamin A overdose from the milk and the liver I was eating. So I tried butter and cream and same thing, super terribly bad insomnia for four more days that next week. And I said, okay, what could this be? Uh, so then I just started uh, trying all types of mineral supplements, nothing really worked. And eventually one night I slept after having zinc and magnesium. So I thought maybe it was a zinc deficiency. So I started eating all this like aged meat. I didn't realize, you know, I mean, I thought it was somewhat fresh, but you know, it's from Australia. It's probably already a month or two old. I started eating large amounts of meat to try to get uh, the zinc in that I thought I was deficient in, but I just kept getting worse and worse. And then I tried eating eggs, I tried switching my meat source, I tried all of those things, and eating the eggs probably made it worse. I started eating, you know, egg yolks, sometimes cooked eggs, and I just had this terrible, terrible insomnia, didn't know what it was, tried all these three things, chewing on Motrin and Tylenol like it's nobody's business. Uh, eventually thought it could be, I don't know, remember how, but I was getting, the symptoms I was getting were not only the terrible insomnia, but at one point, I felt like my heart was going to explode. I felt like I could run through, literally run through a brick wall. Like, that's how I felt. So, I ended up uh, trying antihistamine, Benadryl, just to fall asleep and calm me down. And I found out that I am now allergic to Benadryl because I, I used to be able to take Benadryl and it would work, but it didn't work anymore. So, uh, I thought maybe I had to up the dose. And I upped the dose of Benadryl and I started hallucinating and... It got even worse. I was literally seeing like horror figures in my closet in the dark. Uh, and I looked it up and it was a side effect of Benadryl overdose and some people are intolerant to Benadryl. So at this point I'm like, you know, what do I do? Maybe it's not histamines because the Benadryl didn't work. Uh, so I started trying a, I did a sweet potato only diet for two days. This was last week. Uh, and I can't digest sweet potatoes at all. They come out as sweet potatoes. Literally cannot digest them one bit. Uh, tried that for two days and I slept the second day so I was like okay maybe I'm fine now then I bought some freshly ground meat patties which apparently weren't fresh enough the first night I had like a pound of them and I was fine I could sleep uh, and then the second night I couldn't sleep after I ate them and then I realized okay maybe this is related to histamines because I was after two days of no histamine foods I was fine but then when I started eating the meat again I had it again and finally this week I went out down to a live kill market a couple days ago, had a whole duck two, two, three days ago, fresh, didn't really have any problems. Maybe got a little bit of acne from the high omega-6 and uh, not sleeping for three days can give you acne sometimes. Uh, and then I, yesterday I went down to get the whole lamb, so hopefully, and I slept really good last night and I feel better today, so I should sleep fine tonight as well. And it was definitely a histamine allergy and uh, I think this is going to be the solution going forward, so... I think even having this lamb in my fridge for three weeks would probably be fresher than any meat I've ever bought in the supermarket. So hopefully this heals my gut. Uh, I'm going to actually go buy some raw milk on Saturday, raw goat milk, and mix it with blood. Let me know if that's a good idea, guys. I have a feeling it might. I might get my insomnia back and then cry wolf. Uh, but what's interesting is when I was out on MasterChef, I had bad insomnia. And now thinking back, I was eating smoked salmon from the supermarket, eggs old supermarket meat, just super high histamine foods and super high histamine stimulating foods. So, it makes sense that I didn't sleep out there and now that I'm paralleling these things together, I realize that 
I have a his slight histamine intolerance, although the effects of the milk and the eggs and the things I've been doing over the past few weeks, uh, you know, I kind of did a couple things that caused this problem. I ate a lot of dairy, which are high histamine reacting foods. I started eating a lot of eggs, same thing. And I started eating a lot more meat, and the meat was old and aged, and the sellers lied to me. So, and I increased my food volume by like twice what I normally eat. So all of these things in combination just created a super high histamine content that I never had before in my diet. And it kind of unearthed this uh, intolerance I had. Uh, you know, I've literally been on this diet for six years and I never had this problem outside of that MasterChef thing and now this thing over the past three months. So, you know, it's interesting how long I can go eating all these aged meats and be fine for the most part. But as soon as I ramp up the histamines to an extreme level, uh, and it probably didn't help that I started eating some high liver and some fermented salmon roe for the first time over the past few months as well. So those foods definitely didn't help with the histamines. Uh, so I would, would I say I have a histamine allergy? I guess the things I did over the past few months damaged my gut to the point where I could not literally tolerate even a small amount of histamines in my food. So uh, hopefully that cleared everything up for you guys. I probably lost about a quarter of my liver from all the Tylenol and Motrin I took. but. And, and you know, when I looked up the dip in hydramine, and, which is the Benadryl, and all the other forms of antihistamine medications, there's like eight different ones. So instead of like troubleshooting and trying to see if an antihistamine medication worked, I just decided to stick it out for, and not sleep for a few more days and uh, finally paid off last night. So uh, thank you guys for watching. If you'd like to support me, uh, you know, please just share the video above anything. I know a lot of you guys were asking about this, but that's probably more because I kept bringing it up in a lot of my videos. Uh, and just to really be clear about the symptoms I had, severe heart palpitations, um, my, my mind would not like, I just could not stop thinking. Like it, I wasn't actually thinking, my mind was just thinking on its own. Like I could not, I literally could not think, like if I wanted to think of like an X, I couldn't think of it. My mind was just thinking on its own. Uh, it was a very active brain, that's too many neurotransmitters, that's part of what histamines do. And when I took the Benadryl, it was, I was just hallucinating. Those effects got worse, except I was just hallucinating instead of, you know, maybe my heart rate slowed a bit and I wasn't thinking as much, but I was just seeing things. And like, I would, I would go to sleep, I'd be really tired, and my eyes would literally just open on their own. Like, it was that, those were those symptoms. It was very, very terrible insomnia. So uh, maybe this helps some of you out with troubleshooting. Maybe it doesn't, but, you know, if you eat a meal and your heart feels like it's about to explode, you might have a histamine intolerance. And it's not even necessarily a rapid heart rate, it just feels like your heart feels so heavy too. It's a combination, it's like beating really, it's like, it sounds weird, like beating loudly. I guess that's everything I wanted to touch on. Unfortunately, the zero carb diet is very difficult for people with histamine intolerances because most meat, but the only real solution is you gotta go to a live kill market, get the meat as fresh as possible. Some of you guys told me to freeze it, but, uh, you know, Having the meat in a cold fridge, super cold fridge for two or three weeks to me, that doesn't seem like it would cause, I mean, let me know, that doesn't seem like it would cause enough histamines for someone like me to get a reaction to. I'm assuming once I, you know, if I eat these low histamine fresh meat for like a week or two, my stomach should be healed enough that I can then tolerate the histamines in like the three week old lamb. So uh, let me know if any of you guys have experience with this and like how old a meat you can tolerate is from like a freshly killed animal.